Alright guys, so, what's going on? It's Rio, and today, uh, we got this double privateer match. Um, this was against Abe. It was privateer versus, or sorry, double privateer musketeer versus double privateer musketeer. Um, we decided to try double privateer for like, the old meta, and we also decided to go no exeter, and we brought double raiding tackle. We went full, um, old meta gear and stuff, and I even have, and I even brought one of my barricade privies. So yeah, we went full old meta here, um, and we had some fun. Um, pretty long match, so we got sped up to like 3.5 times speed, so here we go. Um, we streamed this live on Twitch. We are streaming on Twitch, uh, Tub PvP Power 101. Um, I'm streaming every um, Sunday and Thursday, and then every Saturday on tw and then every Saturday on YouTube, and it's all at 4 to 6 PST. Um, so here we go. Now, by the way, if you guys are wondering why we are spreading out in this first turn, that is our new rule. Uh, what we will be doing for tournaments to eliminate a bit of spawn RNG that first turn, you're allowed to spread out your units um, as much as you want, like like so, like what we just did. So, all right, so. What I do is I big guns this nice group. I get a slow on his Nazika and Matthew Walker, and then I slow his Nazika on the bottom. Definitely the most important targets to to, uh, to slow. We're both running the exact same thing: um, double Otter, double Nazika, triple Bonnie, Chantal, and a Pepe de Torto. Because um, no Exeter, so you know we decided to run Pepe's. Why not? Uh, well, at least one Pepe, because he's fun. Um, he's also, in my opinion, pretty... He, he's also a bit underrated, in my opinion. I mean, I feel like the 5 range is really, really nice, and those bombs for the combos can be insane. And you're going to see him do a nice combo using his Pepe bombs, too, in a bit right here. Don't want to spoil anything, but it's, it's very good. So anyway, he goes for all the uh, bombs... He gets some pretty nice rolls on the bombs, actually. So I hit a double group heal right here. I also keep bombing that group down there. That's just chilling. Um, I move my units back one. Um, and I knew he could hit me with Pepe bombs, and I moved my Pepe up. But I did not realize what, what kind of combo he's going to go for. And you're you're going to see this in a second. He, he goes for an absolutely insane combo. I put the powder kegs behind them, trying to make it so he can not, like, Pepe bomb. Um, or if he does, he'll get powder kegged, but he does not care. He actually does not care. And you're going to see that in a second. So he goes for the full combo. Pepe bombs, big guns. Ghost Whale, and then he uses double sniper shots, and this is enough to kill my Chantal. Just barely, if we're not for the Pepe Bombs, or if we're not for the Ghost Whale. If he had just done one less combo, um, she would have lived. So I, I don't get either of my sniper shots off, so this puts me at a huge early game disadvantage. Because it means I have less combos. So I go for, um, I break the powder gags, powder gags with artillery, and then I go for a, um, and then I go for a... What's it called? A Morn Song with a Privy. And then I do a Ghost Will, I think. We get him to 823. And w if we had a Chantal, we could have gotten him down to like 200. And then if I Pepe bombed, that would have probably killed. But he killed the Chantal right there. So, well played to Abe. I'll give him that. Well played. Drops the bombs. Goes for a heal on the Pepe. Well played. Getting some re-slows off. He's gonna he forts Matthew Walker, getting ready to send him up, and now his slow wears off. So what do I do right here? I think I pop discipline, maybe. I think I pop discipline. Um, yeah, and then I and then I obviously re-slow some stuff. Um, yeah. All right, I go for the bombs. Uh, pop discipline on Victor. Um, go for another slow. Bonnie heal myself. Um, I get 500 from the heal just to make sure I'm not going to die. By the way, for anyone wondering, Victor, that was, I think, the first pirate I ever made. Or at least on this, on, like, my, my main account. Because when I was a kid, 
I would also forgive my username and password. But for this account, the account that I still use to this day, the one that I made as a kid, um, that that I Victor I used the first character I ever made. And I don't have him stitched up at the moment, but I will stitch him up. Abe, he is, his heal criticals, I think he gets like two or three super heals this match. Like, these super heals are insane. Uh, I go for another big guns on that group. But yeah, he just keeps super healing. It's insane. Um, I think, yeah. So, go for another. I just keep moving people back so he's not going to be able to bomb. Go for a ghost wall on the Emmet. Another big guns. Get some good chip damage. He gets a rainbow blessing from the pet right there, healing up some nice damage. Um, yeah. He had two rainbow blessed pets. I only had one. Um, as you guys can see, I bring up my Pepe for some combos for to just, you know, drop his bombs. Um, yeah, I bring up the Pepe for some combos. Uh, he forts. He double forts Matthew Walker, and he absorbs. So that's a lot of resources he just used, and he comes over. So what I do is I barricade Matthew Walker. He also pops the Cloud Spirit, and I cannot respond with my own. So I barricade, I think, right in front of him. But let's just see. I think I know what I do, but I'm going to make sure it is exactly what I did. All right, yeah, so I moved Daniel up for Purge, which, by the way, I am running Purge in all three characters. I moved Daniel up for Purge while I barricade, so I can Purge through the barricades. So if he stays there, I Purge him, um, which he does not, but I'm just trying to waste his forts at this point, and, putting, and having barricades and Purge is really good. Now, what he does right here is pretty smart, especially since, he, since he's mid-slowed. Um, what he does is fine, you know. It's, it's all he could have done. Besides so essentially he goes for another big guns as you can see he uses his teleport right there um because he's slowed and one he would not be able to walk all the way down there so what i do is i bring dead eye victor ivy up for purge um and dead eye victor ivy is also my privateer with barricades so um i'm trying to bluff a little bit and make it seem like I have barricades and purge pressure, not just the purge. But already the purge is enough to make him have to disengage. And essentially my goal right here is just to waste those two forts. Um, yeah, I'd rather, and especially because I'd rather not burn the absorb when he has two forts under that. I'd rather wait until the forts are gone and then burn the absorb when uh, there's no forts under it. That'll just make it a lot, a lot easier. So yes, we are all kind of grouping up. The reason why I bring all my units down there is so I can shoot... Um, so I can completely destroy him if he decides if he decides to like get purged, right? If he decides to stay there and get purged. So right here, he moves away. So I just disengage right here. Move all my units right out of his bomb range. I think I hit another group heal with Daniel. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I hit another group heal and just disengage. Just waste the forts. I'm not going to keep moving up for purge. The only time I would keep moving up for purge right there would be if I could barricades and move up for purge at the same time. But he has so many units right there that they would honestly kill my the Dead Eye Victor Ivy if I moved him up for purge. Even even with a fort, they could still probably kill through that just due to how much fire there is um, backing him up. I don't know. Maybe not, but I would have had to burn one of my own forts. So he goes. He just goes for the single bombs on my musket. That's fine. I was kind of baiting for that. To be honest, because once he's used all his bombs, uh, it's a lot less of a threat. So to be honest, I just like, all right, I'll take a little damage. I have a bunch of heals because I have two privateers, so it's not the biggest deal. I go for the focus fire on the Pepe just because I want to burn some cards. So I use uh, focus fire and ghost well while I'm just stalling out at the forts. Might as well, right? Um, so yeah, uh, pop wind spirit right there. Gonna give me that agility buff. Um, very very nice. You know, have it in my in my hand. I might as well use it, right? While well, we're doing nothing. So, right here, I think I was doing something like in chat or like my checking my OBS or something, because you know I was live while doing this. So I end up not realizing he moved up. So I just thought, okay, he just passed or like did something stupid. I did not realize that he moved up. So I make a big mistake and I do not barricade him right here. I was considering trapping him with barricades, but instead I think, oh, wait, he's out of range. So I just use that. I just use the rampart, um, and then I pass with everyone else. Definitely a mistake right here. 
and he will punish me for that next turn. Um, also, I had Rampart in Daniel's hand, I believe, but I'm I'm not sure why I didn't use it, because uh, I might as well have. I didn't have anything else good, but that's fine. So you're gonna see what he does what he does next here. Uh, pretty obvious move is obviously so he, he forts himself again. He wants to like, stay alive obviously he drops the big guns and he drops those So he's able to break the rampart and get some flesh damage on me or like when I say flesh I mean like, you know health uh, damage um, Essentially, I think I go for a bombs on The on that Chantal and Bonnie. I'm not sure though and then I, of course, barricade him. And what I do is I move down for Purge. Now, I get hit by Overwatch, but it's kind of what I have to do here to not walk into bombs. I get a really nice Mega Bombs. Um, thanks to the Wind Spirit, just that extra criticals are insane. I think I also still have Crit Buff on. Um, so, very, very nice. So, yeah, I barricade him. You know, I'm just stalling out the forts. I do not mind. Um, but he does have the Absorb on... Um, before he put on the forts, so that is a pretty easy absorb to burn. Um, he puts on the rampart, goes for the scatter blast. I think he, yeah, he gets a nice group heal, goes for double scatter blast. He almost kills the Bonnie right there, actually. My Bonnie's on a 400, so I go for the scatter blast myself, um, get some good value. Um, I think, I think on my private, I just dropped the artillery. Um, I'm just going for the combos, trying to drop units. Um, and what you see is I fort the Nazika with one of the privies. Put the Pepe bombs, put the artillery, double scatter blast. I'm going for everything. I move up Francesco a bit. Uh, he does get hit by a couple bombs, but I want to get him into bombing formation. But I move him up with only a Minion, and I did not think Abe was going to actually try to go kill Francesco. But he actually does right here in this next turn. He tries to kill my Musketeer. Nice. Overwatch from Pepe. My uh, pet clears out a couple traps. And here is where Abe actually goes for it. Because, you know, he has two Nazikas. Um, he can kill. And I really should have thought of this a little bit better. Um, so what he does, I think he, he double forts one of the Nazikas. And then does not fort at all the other one. Which is a big, like, that it was a horrible move. I mean, what he did was good. But I think he should have forted each Nazika once. Instead of double forting one and not forting the other one. So he d decides to just double fort this one. Pretty much just completely relying on that Nazika to just stay there, I guess. Now, I'm not able to purge because ne neither of the privies are in purge range of the Nazikas. He positions them very well. And, of course, if I purge with my musket, that would just get uh, me killed because I wouldn't be able to put any uh, protections on. So I clutch up with only 271 health. Um, and then I put a fort and absorb on the musket and a bonnie heal. Now, here is where I drop some more units free units to drop he did not drop any units that turn he just went for the musket so here's where i drop some units i damage reduced the double forted one and then i focused all my fire on the non-forted one completely he just threw away one of his nazikas i understand what he was trying to do but he easily could have forded her so bad play uh nice pepe gets a nice return fire able to get some good chains off from pepe emmett Nice, get a good Bonnie heal. I use my Nazika super. She has double tap, so she's able to double tap and then get the burst fire. Now, my Bonnie gets super unlucky right here and just does not kill their Bonnie. Like, the damage rolls were just huge. And also, my Bonnie somehow missed through Zeal. So, that's fine, though. Whatever. Um, this Bonnie clutches up. Um, unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. So yeah, Francesco is um, decently safe right now. So he's gonna pop counter zeal with one of his privies. Uh, I think he, I think he kills the Emmett this turn. He uses the super on the Nazika, but look what my Nazika does. She she gets a super true grit, and then the double tap kills the Bonnie. So I think he had tried to like Bonnie heal her or do something. So that ends up wasting a turn on like one of his Bonnies, which is really nice. Um, his Nazika kind of goes off right here. But luckily, she is damage reduced, so it's not terrible. Yeah, he finishes off the Exeter, or the, uh, the Emmet. Uh, I hit a group heal. No, never mind, I don't. I fort the other Nazika, and I send up the Emmet. So I think I tag team the Emmet since I have two forted Nazikas on him. So yes, I put the fort on this one, and then the other one's already forted, so we just go for the Emmet. I move Daniel up to purge the Nazika, and also so I can get some heals off. Um... 
Nasuke moves up. She gets some. She gets a nice true grid. Gets some good chains. I ensure the kill. I ensured with the other Nazika, um, but it was just overkill due to how many chains my Nazika got. And only one of my Nazikas is reduced. The other one is chilling. So that is why, you know, it was nice. So right here, I think he completely disengages right here. I think he literally just disengages. Oh, wait, does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's where he just completely disengages. His Nausicaa does get some lasting damage on the Bonnie, and he is able to ensure the Bonnie kill. So well played on him. Um, <laughs> double forwarded, and my Nausicaa is reduced, so it does absolutely nothing to her. Um, yeah, he, he ensures the Bonnie kill. And he just disengages with the rest of the team. I think I hit a triple group heal right here because I I'm trying to survive. I'm moving my units behind the barricades, um, but not in the bombs, of course. And then I disengage both my Nazikas to get him some heals because that double forwarded Nazika. I just want to protect them, so I protect all my units are protected by purge. If you try to charge the Nazika back in, they're all protected by purge, even though her damage reduce is gone. Um, she would just get purged. And Abe's not gonna throw away his Nazika like that, so yeah. So if you do a quick unit count, he has one, two, three, four units, and I have one, two, three, four, five units, it looks like. No, sorry, I have six units, I think. Yeah, so I, I am up by two units at this point. Uh, get a heal off on that Bonnie, getting everyone just healed up, all that good stuff. Uh, I think I might actually Bonnie heal her. Yeah, I, I think I actually just Bonnie heal, and then I give my musket a mini. Uh, yeah, we're getting everyone nice and healed up. I pop the Kraken's coils for more criticals um, with my privies because they have strength-based weapons. Moving up, moving up those Nazikas. Um, they still have forts on. I think at least one of them still has a fort on. Uh, maybe both of them do. So I want to get value out of the forts while I have them, right? They're kind of just free real estate. So might as well use them. And they still have a couple of charges left, I believe. So yeah, he just completely disengages his team. Backs up into the corner. So now I am just going to get complete map control. Um, definitely a big shift. And I sent both my Nazikas at Francesco. Um, and I think I fought one of them. Yeah, I fought that one and then the other one already had a fort. Now, I do kind of forget uh, about Purge. Uh, that was kind of just idiotic. I just kind of thought, okay, I'm going to get some damage. So he does fort. He does Purge and get rid of two forts. But in reality, only one of the forts that I put on that turn. The other fort was just there from, from when I was trying to kill a different unit. So it's not the biggest waste. Plus, Abe has wasted a lot more forts than me this match. So it's still a mistake, though. Still a mistake. But um, it's not a terribly costly mistake. We still have Wind Spear for two more turns. We're going to see if we can get a little bit of value off that. So there's the Purge. He forts Francesco again, so he's not going to die. The Nazika, Bonnie hit. Get some damage on my Nazika. Now what I do right here is I tag team that Nazika with some of my Nazika charges. And I even go for a Ghost Whale, I believe. I just completely try to ensure that Nazika kill. And I am able to. I put the second rampart on. There we go. Yeah, I go for a ghost whale. And then I use the charges. I think this is the last charge on that Nausicaa. But my other Nausicaa still had a super omega and an epic. So I use the super right here. Nice double tap. Get some great, great value. Kill the Nausicaa. Now I'm I'm up by two Nausicaas. He has no Nausicaas left. So that's Nausicaa's late game are very, very advantageous. And that's why you see early game people really focusing on killing Nausicaa's due to how strong they are late game. Um, it's just a big reason. I mean, Nausicaa's are strong overall, but like especially late game, um, you know, especially if they still have charges left late game, it's insane. But even without charges, they're just really good units. So what I do right here, uh, I literally have three revives in both of my privateers' hands. I'm not even joking. I have triple revive in both their hands. So I'm realizing, oh, like, I kind of got to use some revives. So I, as you can see, I move Victor up here. I get a nice, nice mega artillery, I think that was. Drop some bombs on him. I'm moving up. Get some revives off. Now, these Nausicaas, I brought them up to the corner to where Matthew Walker can not, like, trick shot or bomb them or anything. Um, he goes for the Ghost Whale, but, you know, unless he got an Epic or, like, a Mega, he would not have been able to kill. Um, 
So my Nazikas do that one Nazika survives with 165 health left. And I'm just gonna keep the Nazikas up there for right now. Now here's what I do. I move my musketeers up to him to start like shooting him down. But this is kind of a mistake since he just gets free shots off on them, and it feels like it feels like that was definitely not the best play. I go for the trick shot, trying to kill that Pepe de Torto, get him really low, but he is gonna heal him up. And I think a VA him also this turn. But I brought the units up. And unfortunately, I hit a couple behind pillars. Because I was not thinking. Um, I was really not thinking. And I ended up hiding a couple behind pillars. So I just diminished the value even more. He gets a nice little bombs. Uh, he gets a nice trick shot. Uh, I think here is where I pop fighting fervor. Just trying to get lasting damage out of those units. Yeah, I think I pop fighting fervor right here. And then my Nazikas are chilling up there. Um, in reality, I probably should have moved them by now, but I just kind of had them chilling up there so they could come down whenever. But I probably should have moved them a little earlier. There goes the fighting fervor. Get a trick shot off. I'm moving my units so they can all have line of sight on someone. So, as you can see, I have a Pepe and two Bonnies, and he has a Pepe and a Bonnie. So, I have one, one extra five range unit. He gets an amazing super heal. That was like, he got two or three super heals this match. It was actually pretty insane and then he also pops sky spirit which is scary as heck because sky spirit's insane but instead of going with my own sky spirit i just go for hits on that bonnie trying to kill her and then i move myself up and i move the nazika back so victor can start healing the nazikas um right here his bonnie absolutely goes crazy with the sky spirit which is really you know i probably should have just sky spirited myself um his Bonnie does clutch up right here. She does survive. Because I did not focus my fire on the Bonnie enough. I focused my fire on two different units just spreading my damage. I really did get punished there. I should have focused absolutely everything on Bonnie. So definitely a mistake. Um, so yeah. Now I think he's able to revive the Bonnie next turn. Yeah, he's keeping them alive because privateers offer a lot of sustain. He pops the other rampart. Their Bonnie just absolutely goes off because of that uh, agility buff. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, even with Wind Spirit, units can go off. But, like, this is with Sky Spirit. This is insane. Um, yeah. Agility buff is crazy. So, he ends up killing all three of mine, and I didn't even kill both of his five range muskets. So, definitely could have played that a bit better. I could have mirrored the Sky Spirit or something, but that's all good. The companion count, he's gotten it back to even. Um,. He was down by two, but he's gotten it to even. But my last two companions are these Nausicaas. So right here, I'm trying to heal up the Nausicaas. I'm bringing Daniel down the field for heals. I can heal Francesco. I'm also just there for the purge. Uh, if he tries to get aggressive with me, uh, I have Daniel. I have two privateers with purge. And my musketeer has a purge. So yeah, he goes for the heal. He full heals up his Pepe right here, I think. Gets some nice criticals. Are you guess a nice critical. Uh, I delete my will buff because it's useless, of course, because I'm running the strength-based weapons. And I go ahead and heal this Nazika. And I'm moving him down, getting ready to pressure. I also put the mini on Francesco. Uh, I do just go for a trick shot to reduce the dodge of Honest Abe and just get some damage since I did not want to move up this turn. But I'm getting ready to move up soon. Hence why I put the mini on. So they still have Enduring. Yeah, I forgot to say, it was Enduring plus Sky Spirit. So they pop another critical buff. Keep up those criticals since Enduring is about to run out for them. Um, here is where this Nazika does not have a charge. But my Musketeer's Nazika still has two of her charges left. So this is where... What do I do? I, do I rally her? No, I think I... Yeah, I rally her. Get, keeping those Nazikas healthy. Um, and I move down. I only put the fort on one of them. Because if he does decide to purge, it's only one fort. Um, and also due to the fact that, you know, they're not in that much danger. I mean, one, he could double assassin the other one. Now, my Nazika goes absolutely insane thanks to Sky Spirit and just gets his Francesco to like 364 health. Um, that, you know, his Sky Spirit did a lot, but then I waited for it to run out and I popped my own and then mine did a lot right here, right? Um, the Sky Spirits are just insane and this, this really shows it. Uh, so he puts a fort and he puts an absorb on Francesco. And this is where I know he cannot really purge right here. Because if he purged, um, I would probably just kill his Francesco. So here we go. I put the fort on the other Nazika because I know he really cannot purge. 
And then I decide to go for the epic hit on Matthew Walker with the other Nasuka. I fork this one, just keeping it there. I get two bursts off on Honest Abe. Very, very nice. Um, and then I come over here. Uh, he does kind of destroy me a bit, but we got forts on. So that's all good. He has no fort on. And we have the Sky Spirit. He has no agility buff. So my Nazika just criticals him like crazy. And there goes the Musketeer. So now Abe's really, really, really in a predicament right here. At this point, he's pretty much lost the match. He can't even purge me. So, yeah, at this point, he's pretty much lost the match. He moves Francesca right here, goes for the charge. Uh, Honest Abe goes for a hit. They just try everything to try to kill me, but they're not able to, so I put the Absorb on. Use my Nazika to hit that Pepe. And I just go for a focus. I hide Daniel so he does not double assassin Daniel and kill him. Because that would be bad. Um, then I go right here and I get a mega haywire shot. It goes absolutely insane. I get some nice, you know, get a nice couple criticals right here. Honest Abe comes, uh, Honest Abe gets the repel. But my Nazika with that Sky Spirit literally criticals everything. Absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, at this point, Abe has lost. He just flees. GG. Um... Definitely a fun match. It was a definitely different running double privy. Uh, we might try another one on stream sometime. So if you guys do want to watch, check out the stream. That would be awesome. We stream live on Twitch. Let's see. I stream every Sunday and Thursday on Twitch and then every Saturday on YouTube on this channel. I will link the Twitch in the description. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.